And yeah, we are sorcerers. So we are people, regardless of our sort of, you know, um, our, our specific presets and whatever, all the player characters are going to be sorcerers being transported to Fort Joy. There's an internment camp over there. Um, I think we may as well, you know, start walking out. Grenades, scrolls, potions, etc. in backpack, backpack, and hotbar. Yeah, that sounds good. So, because I presume I could just put, say, the scroll on my hotbar. But you'll probably end up with a bunch of scrolls and stuff like that. And what we don't need to keep the scroll that convenient. So if we go... Oh. Okay, unlock. Yep, thank you. That's actually a decent thing. If I put the scroll in the bag... No known associates. In fact, he seemed quite averse to spending time with the others. Is she talking? I think she's talking. Oh, everything's spick and spell. Oh, there it is. Nothing there it left is. to do, really. Alright, let's go talk to this lady. Hello. There. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Um, you pull the thing around your neck futilely, demand to know why she collared you. No, we're smart enough to figure this out. Uh, so our soldier background and our noble background give us a couple new uh, uh, voice options. Let's let's go into pan and demand that we'd like to bathe and dine. Tell her to ring for the servants. <laughs> oh dear, I'm afraid you're a long way from home, my lord. A long way from the little bells that make footmen come a running. Index fingers pressed to her lips, she pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. A new life awaits. And if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. Take our leave. Let's click on the book and see what happens. Wait, there's got to be a, a quick save command, right? <laughs> Controls. Quick save. Quick save is F5, quick load F8. There we go. <sighs> Ooh, attitude, minus five. Uh, she did not like that. Now, I know there's stealth options. Now, I think the thing with shift here is I believe it shows you uh, vision things like she's got a vision cone here, but there's also red things behind her. I think now I don't notice it. there was no like um oh there's the vision cone moving. If I hit C, there you go. I start sneaking. So let's try to stay out of her vision cone and steal the book. Test the combat system on her. Well, if we f this up, that's what's going to happen. And the problem is we're still completely unarmed. We've got the book. Now, we're going to get out of here. No lesions, no trauma. Because I happen to know from my demonstration at Gamescom is that after something goes stealing, people start looking for the thief. Oh my god. Ah! Close the door. Don't come after me. Uh, oh yeah, our stealth will get broken if we go by these people. So they're looking for me, but hopefully just in that room. Good gods. There's, there's been a murder here. Oh, there has been a murder here. Hold on. Uh oh, I think they're still searching for me. Can I close this door? Sort of, maybe? The tooltip for it's kind of wonky. It looked like I could. Oh, there it is. Oh, I guess because it's in the doorway here itself. I just don't want her to come after me. Okay, let's take a look at the book before we get it uh, stolen back. What does the book say? The Source King insists there are no magics too foul, even those mm. that would block or even remove the Source within an individual. I delight in his madness. It's an invitation to manipulate all of which we 
once believed immutable. He provides all manner of experimental subjects. The text beneath lists a series of hexes and materials required for muting source. Some of those objects are circled in black ink and are noted as follows. Helm, collar, mask. Well, apparently collar seems to work. All right. Humans and elves have no right to their property that's given. That's right, as a dwarf, we've got there. There's the magistrate. Um, I could have potentially looted this corpse while the magistrate was away. Uh, but well, let's go ahead and give Ugly a chat over sight, here. Isn't it? Yeah, it, totally. I mean, the sight of death. Ooh, it's very upsetting. Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and followed the source that did this. Pretty sure you can read books without picking them up and stealing them. Oh, maybe I can try right-clicking on them next time or something like that. Um. Yeah, you weren't as protected. You were a captor. I think we're, we're hoity and challenging. Finn didn't see it like that. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own shadow and his own source. Makes me think of the sort of like the X-Men situation. You know, some, some people don't want their mutation powers and would like a cure and others, you know, want people to leave them alone with their powers. Not we'll find them. out who did this. Speaking of... She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room Ooh, when the great. murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. Well, I'm very good, but maybe you can. You're sorcerer, right? no. Um, trick you haven't quite mastered. I like that. I thought as much. Listen. I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Bring me a good lead, and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin. Ooh, a whole coin! How about that? My price is higher than that. Not in here, it isn't. You let me know if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. All right. Fair enough. Doesn't look like she's hunting stuff. Someone could suggest getting the combat log up here. Ooh, it's... There we go. Get it up there. Neat. So, will you let me investigate the body? No lesions. No trauma. It was bled by magic. Apparently not. Okay. Investigate the crime, but don't actually uh, look at anything. Broken source collar. Hmm. Anything over here? No. We can we can go up, but let's let's finish this floor first. And get a shiny gold coin. Ooh, a bucket for a helmet! That's enough now. Upgrade. Upgrade. No known associates. In fact, he seemed quite Combined with Oh yeah, there's like crafting! Oh my god, there's crafting! That's right! There's not only just like crafting for gear, but you can craft like Skills or something. It's insane. Valid combinations will be added to your recipe book. Recipes. Primitive harpoons. Combine a long branch with a sharp piece of metal. Alright, that sounds pretty handy. But let's just equip... I got a bucket on my head! Quick load, don't discard that attitude. You want me to do it? Alright, well, well saves come for a second. We got a request in chat. So that we don't we don't take the, the stupid like minus five penalty over here from just poking at that body. But please, Loisa. That's enough now. Bucket on my head. Do they have any conversation over here? Now you can like listen in on a lot of things from range. Oh, it's Los! This is one of the uh the characters we could have chosen um as our particular origin story. I'll give you that oh, she's picking at her collar. A bunch of kids in here too. Sandy, Polly. One of us wouldn't kill um, her own. Oh, Tris, picking Polly. us off one by one. Hello. Ah, there you are, <clears throat> husband. Would you please? I will get tell the, the, the bedroll. I just don't want to miss more conversation. Of not all brat like babes. That I am by no accounts this loser woman. Nor do I sing. In fact, I'm deathly, deathly allergical. You're allergic to sing? Sure, we'll, we'll play along. 
Take her arm. Tell the children. They must be mistaken. This is clearly my wife, Jane. How very correct you are, spouse of mine. Madame Josephine Gribbles de Peeb refuses I mean, Josephine. to be confused with anyone else. So we got plus two attitude with her. What? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoes the children away from her with a laugh. Ooh, guard with the dog. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and git, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. She turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty-haired, and smiles flatly. Got to keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? Hey, Delirium. Yeah, we're not going to be going very far in this to, you know, partially prevent spoiler stuff. But we'll go on for a little bit, mostly probably going through this prologue. Yeah, keep ourselves entertained. Uh, it's true enough. Shake her hand. Uh, Losa, you presume. More concerned with survival than entertainment. No, no, we'll, we'll keep being pleasant. Even though we've got a bucket on our head, we'll you keep being pleasant. Right. Um, what did you tell me here anyway? Ought to have a look around with you. You can watch each other's backs. Thanks, but I already belong to an elite and exclusive ship gang. We play ball every day after lunch. You're too soft for it. You take care, though. Do you know anything about the murder? Nope. Trying not to find anything out, either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. <laughs> the utterer, the better. All right, fair enough. Suddenly, her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. Grayish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change came over her. Good luck, Chief. Okay. Anything over here? Okay, we'll go back for that bedroll now. Oh! It... Hang on. You picked up a bedroll. Use it to rest and heal your party. Excellent. Um, so alt doesn't highlight lootables. That's... Oh, there's nothing in there. Okay. That might be why. No, we've got rope. Oh, sh Hold on. Did I just grab rope? Bedroll. I have rope. Alright. So we really have to do the whole mouse over all the things. I can't just rely on, like, hitting, hitting alt. Compared to duck. I bet she's a witch. <laughs> I can turn off lights? Well, that might be handy later on for, for spy stuff. Oh, there's Sebel. That's one of the other characters. Okay. Oh, right. This is the elf, like, slave person. She's She looks like she's in, like, methadone withdrawal or something. Sits tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling dice onto the surface of a barrel. They sound like the dry cackling of an old Talk to witch. the sheep. Oh, yeah. It's not tab. Tab, I think, like, toggles into combat mode. Yeah, tab doesn't do it. People saying tab. I'm pretty sure tab uh, uh, turns on combat mode. We'll check out the, um, the hotkeys again in a second. Oh, she's rolling dice. Snake eyes. She chuckles. I bet that's just what they'll look like. Can I join you? She shakes her head. Fine. Game for one, I'm afraid. Rolling dice? Deciding fates. Ooh. Whose fate is she deciding? Don't worry, honey. It isn't yours. She looks you up and down with the merest hint of a coy smile on her lips. Never say never, though. She can decide face with the dice, ask if she can read the future and count trails. No, no, we'll be nice. She smiles contemptuously. She won't be nice. But Just okay. a kitten in a corner, aren't we? Yeah, let me take the bucket off and show you what kind of kitten I am. Um, okay. Yeah, see, Tab definitely entered combat mode. Um, options, controls. Highlight characters with the grave key. Uh-huh. Toggle info with left control. You think me mad? 
enabled what? combat highlights. No. Insufferable. Well, it's definitely highlighting characters, which is kind of handy. What are you trying to hear anyway? Now, where was the sheep? I'll tell you if you can keep it quiet long enough for me to listen. And also, how do you know? Okay, this has got golden and a little star. Maybe there's stuff in there, because this one's great. Oh, yeah! I, forgot I think Spacebar just saw what's glued all. Okay, so in the mouse over, we can indeed get an idea. So there's stuff in this crate. Or, oh, we just hadn't looted it yet. Now it's gray. All right. Okay, that's good to know. So I can talk to this dog. Turn the camera. Sheep is in a cage. Oh! Bah! So if I hit the grave key... Oh, there it is. Okay. That will make it a lot easier to spot things. I guess I could talk to some of the guards, maybe, too. <laughs> I'm not suited for this. It's sea cow. Not sea sheep. They voice acted the animals! <laughs> awesome! Okay, I have to agree. That pet pet talk talent is got to be the greatest thing. You're 100% right. I can't imagine playing the game without it. <laughs> um, admire the sheep's wool and ask if you might take a bit. Haven't got any shears, have you? People these days. Okay, we'll see if we can find some shears. Or something else sharp. <laughs> oh man. Let's talk Behind to these the guys. Magister, a bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. There's been a murder. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar I fitted think at the animals time. Give you quests and quests you'd be a suspect like the rest of them. Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always does. Ooh, does this sort of thing happen often? You surprised? You were one of them. You know what sorcerers are capable of. Whoever did this found a way around their collar and killed a man. Small ones this time, thank the gods. We'll find out who did it, one way or another. A young magister stands pale and silent. Her knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. Uh huh. All right. Come on, please. So I want to talk to one of these guard dogs. You. That's enough now. Yeah. Is it space to pause? No. I don't know. You, sorcerer, blood. No. Go. Oof. All right. Source hounds do not like sorcerers. Fair enough. Let's talk to this guy. Magister Jalen. Yeah. Whatever. I can choose myself. I'm proud. Urst Bonich. Well, you aren't here on my list. Scrammy, we're trying to catch a killer here. You are very helpful. We just skip to the I'm hoping there's going to be some Stay away from the magisters, brother. They killed that fellow back there. They'll hide the evidence well enough, but I know it all the same. A hey! blue dwarf sits totally upright That's on the beast. Bench. That's one of the Eyes other story people. Palms face up on his knees. His beard is a cascade of meticulous plaits, each one braided through with golden medallions. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but doesn't open his eyes. Listen up, boy. You hear that? I could, you know, take offense, but no, it's fine. Uh, what am I meant to be hearing? Shep, of course. Oh yeah, because he's like a pirate dude. Well, I'll listen. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates, the groaning of wood from floor to ceiling, the boom, crash, and crackle of waves around you, complaints from the sea itself. And? Ship sounds like a sick man. Sick as a leper's cat. From the state of it, I'd say she's being cared for by a bunch of beardless babes who never loved anyone but their own mums. Well, as a fellow dwarf who's totally not dead, I, I, I can relate with you. But there's more. Listen close. There now, just like that. I know you can. I forgot how Squeak? Aha! His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back, the other catches you before you lose your footing. There. You heard that, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, boy. Good news. Yeah, what's so exciting? That was just a rat. No, you beautiful idiot. That wasn't any rat. It was the wheel. Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we're heading east. 
Burn my beard. That means if we'd been traveling for, yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. That That's ridiculously precise for someone who's not actually being able to see anything outside. Why are you excited about Fort Joy? Eh, no indeed, boy. But that ain't my final destination. The dwarf leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes roll over to you. That'll be all. Thank you kindly, boy. Yeah, if you want an escape plan, I he want in. He continues stroking his beard, a beatific smile on his lips, and doesn't acknowledge you anymore. I've never dined on anything less than a dozen courses. Yeah, more buckets. Oh, beer. 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 More bed rolls. Grab all of these. More bucket helmets. I think we can live without more bucket helmets. Uh, yeah, they're worth, I don't know, a gold piece, but it just seems a little ludicrous, doesn't it? Mm. All right, let's let's go up here first. Oh, it's Fane! How dare you classify this slop as food? <gasps> I think he's wearing. I've seen more. I think he's wearing a, 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 an elf like face that's ripped off because he definitely does not look undead right make, now. Your Majesty. The beer says Don't effect unknown. We can't do that. All I was do we have to try the beer before we find out what it does? Unacceptable. I've never dined on anything less than a dozen course dinner, and I don't Consume. to do away with the custom. I'm drunk. Well, uh, roll the dice to see if I'm getting drunk. Murder, Character is drunk. Can be sobered Maybe up with clear-minded status. Oh, it doesn't last very long. Than your more lucky charms, more dodging, more things like that. We mouse over. With me Minus one really intelligence, heals ten percent. Except drunk for two turns. Bottle of beer is also unknown, but I think we can uh, divine what the result will be. Lightweight undead, yeah. Could be like really strong beer. The Talk elf is reading a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. He looks up. His so veins one of the eyes five scanning your body, absorbing six every detail. Origin stories you can choose that have a more like in-depth background. He reaches out and examines your bandages, rubbing them between his fingers. Mmm. Fascinating. He sits back and returns to his book, flicking quickly from page to page, completely oblivious to your presence. Never thought you'd end up in prison, John. What do you think you're doing? I am reading. Is this not evident? My book is in my hands, my face turned away from you, perhaps my eyes not on the page, damnable things. He grabs a metal plate and watches his reflection with one eye as the other shifts left to right and up to down. He repeats the maneuver with the opposite eye. No, they are working quite adequately. It seems you are at fault. <laughs> yeah, why were you touching it? Oh, oh I see. I crossed a cultural taboo. How difficult. You have my sincere apologies. Fan has been like locked away for hundreds of years. Perhaps I should demand the same from those red cloaked humans. They laid their hands on me more than once. <laughs> Who is this guy? Ah, yes. The niceties. My name is Fane. I am a scholar from. Start no, levels dangerously high. I am a high. seeker of knowledge. <laughs> That is enough. It is pleasurable to meet you. Yeah, you know what? Well, uh, yeah. What's in your book? Hardly. I've been reading this one for several minutes, and I have yet to find a single insight into the mysteries of the universe. It is simultaneously too detailed and insufficient. I know the beginning of this tale and the end, but I am rather missing the middle. Tell me, what do you know of your... our world's history? I really don't know anything, actually. Uh, tell them about the war between the Divine Order and the Black Ring. Dwarfed everything that went before. Uh, dwarven background. The Dwarf Empire was great once, but it shrunk a lot recently. I'm undead. You have some personal experience of history. You've seen a lot of the last couple of centuries. Talk about the most recent threat, how the manager has been fight. So we'll, like, we'll bond as sort of like, ah, oh, I know that you're an undead. Oh, please. I have no interest in that. Your books are too full of it already. No. I want to know about the Celestial... I want to know about your gods. Uh-huh. That does seem to be the, the, the main plot. This text tells me that they created all creatures, but nothing of what came before. Where did these gods come from? Who are their people? Where are the others of their kind? Why are you so curious about gods? 
The elf's face freezes for just a second before he waves his hand dismissively. Oh, it's just one of my idle curiosities. We mortals do like to consider these things, do we not? Now please, run along. I have a world to decide. Men insist. No amount of pestering will get the elf to take his eyes off his book or respond to your questions. Fair enough. Okay, we got another guard to talk to over here. Magister Paid. It's a register, sir. Good, good. Magister Williams is just about done with the last passenger. You fearing okay so far? If <laughs> he'd be fine. Um, no, of, of course. Uh, everything is it's perfectly fine and adequate. I'm glad to hear it. You head on in now. Williams will get you short at fast. Okay, so I mean, there's still plenty of stuff to be gotten. Apparently, more, more, more buckets if we need more helmets. Greasy key. Hold on. We're gonna swing over here for a second. Get pots that we can grab. I don't know. Where's the Where's the key actually located? And how would we ever find it? It's not in the crate, is it? No, the crate's empty. Without the alt, I'm not sure how I would ever find the greasy key. I'll give you that knuckle if you keep cutting on. Hey, that's Ifen. That's another person. No, it's okay. Oh, and a greasy door. Gee, what could the greasy key possibly unlock? All right, we're gonna we're gonna run over here. We're gonna go and register. Keep with those bolts trained on her, and if she tries to run, shoot to kill. Level five. You seem on edge, officer. Standing at the center of oh, the room, I interrupted you the conversation. spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous-looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. I'm gonna steal a bunch of this food. So you admit it, then? You murdered that poor fella? Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Is that the lady from the cutscene? She turns her head and looks you straight in the eye. There are others whose lives must end. My life has already ended. You want me to turn off the highlights? Good God, the woman's mad. You there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. We can say yes. Okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need some uh, some help from the chat here. We can say yes, sir. Turn to leave. This murderer must be brought to justice. This may be the perfect opportunity to create a mutiny. Tell the woman you stand by her, or address the sorcerer and ask her what she meant by "there are others whose lives must end." What do we think? We still don't have any weapons. Now these are all level one. She's level five. Um. I was just trying to see if there was anything that happened to be around. If I uh, hold Alt here, I see I see Quill. There's an ink pot and Quill over there. Three, three, three. Lo some twos, lots of threes. Okay. What do you mean by there are others whose lives must end? It means your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale. She wants to kill because... me. She reaches for her collar and simply removes it. Oh shoot. I'm just about to create a scene. Subdue her, man, quickly! If she casts Source, the Void Woken will come. They'll end us all. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Okay! It's fight time! Wendigo uses Source Blast. Holy crap! Okay, that wasn't so much as a fight. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, left alt to highlight objects that can be picked up. Uh-huh. Ooh, pumpkin soup. 